All right, so a dad's got a six-year-old daughter being bullied by a five-year-old boy. So what do you do? You go to school administrators, or do you go to court and get a restraining order against the five-year-old? Well, that's what this dad did. He was so frustrated. WTMJ has the story. Right now, I, I just... I don't know what I'm going to do. Brian Metzger leaves Kenosha County Court surprised. He thought even without his ex-wife, he could represent their daughter and fight for a restraining order against a five-year-old. The boy is accused of threatening to bring a knife to school, cut his classmate's throat, and watch her bleed. That was my straw right there. It broke. It was done. I went and seen the principal. They told me everything was fine. And... It wasn't a few days later, she got kicked, and it just escalated. Cameras were not allowed in the courtroom, even though parents didn't let their kindergartners near it. I've just been trying to keep her at a low key on it, because I don't want it to bother her any more than it already has. She's been through enough. Before the hearing even began, police took the boy's father into custody. When he showed up to court, he was apparently violating a temporary restraining order himself, one his wife took out against him. Terry Rose represents the boy's father in that case and had this reaction to the restraining order being dropped against his son. We're very satisfied with the result. I think the commissioner handled it very properly. He said it eloquently, and I don't think I could say it any better. The boy's mother left the courthouse with no comment. All right, so that temporary restraining order dropped now. Social media on fire with the story. Cindy Rose wrote on our Facebook page, so what will the same judge do if it does happen just say oops let's bring in the dream team and and try to figure this one out because it's difficult right when you talk about restraining orders you know what happens is you violate it then you arrest the person that violates it but if a five-year-old violates the restraining order what do you do yeah, there's nothing you can do you can't you can't arrest a five-year-old for a crime you certainly can't arrest them for violating a tpo the dad wanted the conduct to stop and he did what he felt that he had to do to get somebody's attention to it uh, so that it would stop. He was really just looking out for the best interests of his child. I don't have a problem with the judge uh, dismissing the restraining order because, as I said, what can you do if he violates it? The problem has been solved. It, it raised the attention. With the, with the attention and the yeah. spotlight on it, and maybe yeah. his daughter is safe now. But, I mean, those were real threats. Yeah. And yeah. it's your six-year-old. You're going to do any. And I tell this to parents all the time. Do everything you can, right? I have a four-year-old, and kids usually mimic what they hear at home. And if that's what he said, I will slit your throat and watch it bleed. There's a serious problem at that little boy's home. So something needs to be yes. done about that. And if you want to protect your child, and if going to court's the only way to do it, I would do it as well. Yeah, yeah. I say that all the time. Karen Ann uh, says, obviously, the child has a problem. I would definitely look into the child's home life. And that's what we're talking about here, Chris, is who, who does that? Who's going to do that investigation? Maybe child services should be involved here if a child is making If they're not like busy this. with Will Smith. Yeah, and, yeah. And his kids. You know, I've seen a lot less uh, serious infractions and had and seen students expelled from school or sent to alternative schools. So the fact that the pr principal didn't react to this or the teacher didn't appropriately react appropriately react um, is an issue. And frankly, if he had slit her throat, they'd be sued. That's that they're you civilly think liable. So young, maybe they thought, oh, they're just. Yeah, but any time you threaten to take someone's life, regardless yeah. of your age, you have to take it seriously. So initially, I was against this. I thought it was an abusive process. But if someone threatens your child's life, you got to do what you got to do. Yeah, Lonnie, looking at this, you know, parents will do whatever they can to protect their child. And that's what this dad did. Use anything you can. Use the law. Absolutely. You know, this um, father also said that his daughter was coming home with physical injuries. That she was saying the boy was kicking her in the face. She was coming home with scratches and, you know, just terrified to go to school when she used to love to go to school. So while they couldn't actually do anything about the restraining order, at least it got the school to move the boy out of the classroom. That's just the beginning. A lot more needs to be done. But at least it got the attention of the school to do something. Absolutely.